Hey guys, Christine and Victor here, and we decided to do a vlog about what seems to be the biggest topic on YouTube right now, or uh, just in the news in general in a lot of places, and that is Logan Paul. Um, and you can tell that we're not in a uh, positive mood with this one. Um, most of you probably already know what's going on, what the controversy is all about, um, and I am not going to show any clips from the video that he did, because I think it is completely and totally inappropriate. Um, but I'll just, just straight up disrespectful. Yeah, I'll just summarize it real quick. Um, basically, he and some of his friends uh, went to Japan and decided to film a video in uh, a forest that is nicknamed the Suicide Forest. And he mentions this several times in the video that it's called the Suicide Forest. So he forest. knows what's going on. Yeah, it, it wasn't it wasn't an accident. Yeah, um, I don't know. It just it so, doesn't seem it, like he just can't play that off as an accident. No, um, he says in the video that he was uh, there for the uh, like ghostly adventure, like haunted, or, like basically because there's tales of it being haunted because there's so many suicides there. But still, but I don't really believe that. I personally, I mean, and that's just a personal opinion thing. But uh, in the video, he happens upon a dead body, a man that hung himself there in that forest. And the way he reacts to it is wholly inappropriate. The whole group, actually. It's not just no, Logan it, Paul. It's his whole group. Yeah. Let's, let's be real about that. Everybody takes the blame out on Logan Paul on that. It's his whole camera group. They were smiling when he was talking about it. Yeah, it's like they they have a moment where they're like, I don't know, kind of sort of acting like trying they feel to figure better. it out. Yeah, but but then they they start laughing and joking, and it's it's really bad. Yeah, it's it's just, really really bad, and that's why we don't want to show any clips from the video. Well, that um, and that actually breaks the YouTube like. Community, community guidelines. guidelines. So, yeah, I mean, like, technically, if any of us, you guys, or anybody that's not a million sub partner did that, we would all suffer the consequences greatly. However, Logan Paul, you know, will not. Just um, public backlash, pretty much. That's about it. Yeah, from what we've seen so far, uh, we haven't seen YouTube, like, take any action against him, um, which is unbelievable. The, the problem is that when he found this this dead body, he did not handle it correctly. Um, for one thing, do not film it. Do not I, I, film it. I don't think there's like a rule. I heard somebody else say that you're not even supposed to... Uh, you, and like if you use it in your thumbnail, really? Yeah. And really? Like and you say it's not clickbait? That's really? How he, that's how he started the video, by saying that it's not clickbait. If you start a video by saying this is not clickbait, it's probably clickbait. Um, and he used it in the thumbnail. He also used it in the title of his video. Like, I think the title of the video was something like, We Found a Dead Body. Yeah, I mean, I don't like remember that, exactly yeah. what it was, but it was something to but that effect. But basically, effect. it's clickbait. Yeah. Bottom line, and you went there to get clicks, get views. And yeah, you may not have monetized it. But how many subscribers did you probably gain on that before people found out how gross your video was? From what I saw, I think that video had over half a million likes. Likes. Yeah. People liked that video uh, before. I, and I don't know if YouTube took it down or he took it down. I, now, I think he don't. took it down, but YouTube should have took it or taken it down. That's yeah. how it should have went. Even if he didn't monetize it, that's pretty bad. Like, I mean, that was a human life. You, you do not disrespect people like that. You've got to understand that that, that person... You may not know who it is, but someone does know. That person had people in their life that loved them, and like they had, they probably had friends, family that care about them and don't want to see, you know, their their body like just on YouTube anyway, like that. Anyway, anyway, like imagine your brother, your dad, anybody you know, your friend, and then you got this guy coming along, and be like, "Hey, bro, look at this dead body, bro!" Like, uh, click like for you know, it's like really. And, I mean, he, in the video, he goes right up close to it. Like, as close as we are to the camera. That's how he, how close he was filming 
this body. And I mean, yes, eventually he does call the police and they come and uh, then there's a, a guy that walks up in the parking lot and, and tells him that, that he shouldn't have been there in the first place. Yeah, apparently it was a restricted area. But you know, it's Logan Paul, so he can break every law in every country and get away with it, apparently. so. What we would really like to see happen is, uh, well, let me, let me back up. There's a lot of people that are saying they want YouTube to totally, permanently ban his channel. And while I, I understand lashing out like that, um, I, I do disagree. I don't think that you should ban him permanently. No. Um, I, I think that is a, but he does a deserve, far. he does deserve a timeout or something. Like we've all yeah. had community strikes. We've all had to deal with stuff. He deserves some kind of punishment from YouTube. I think that. I don't know what would be appropriate, but. Yeah. I mean, obviously it's up to YouTube. YouTube needs to punish him in some way. That is ultimately the point of this. Um, I'm thinking like a six month suspension or something like that would be great. That, or the, like a six month suspension without pay or something. Like you could still upload videos, but you know, no I, monetization I know. for something like that. I don't know. But, and it irritates me in his video that he pretends and even in his apology afterwards, he's pretending and, and trying to play it off. Like he was trying to bring awareness to suicide prevention which is edited later after the whole event so i mean like right. it's kind of easy to add a little clip be like oh yeah i totally want to bring suicide awareness to this yeah i mean nobody's buying it bro no <laughs> yeah nobody's buying it or i don't think anybody will yeah well there um, may be some people i'm not gonna say everybody but the majority of people aren't buying it. and i'm not talking about your fan base they're probably definitely by your apology but the average viewer is totally not going to go along with what, what they saw. Right. So. It just, it was too much. Um, you should never, ever, ever show a dead body on YouTube. No, I mean, I mean that, you're that's, not that's, supposed that's, to anyway. So. I know, that, but that, that's like rule number one. Don't show a, a dead body on YouTube. Yeah. It's, it's horrendous. It's disrespectful. And to then go and say that. Oh no! I was trying to bring you know awareness to suicide prevention. It, I don't believe that at all. And if you were, you you could have handled it so much differently. You did not have to show that guy. You could have talked about it without showing it. But you were trying to get views. You were trying to get money out of it in some way. And just just real quick for all of you watching this right now, um, if you actually are contemplating suicide that is never the answer and in our description uh, we have a list of uh, the suicide hotline numbers for a variety of countries there's there's quite a list there um, I found the list on a, uh, a website about bipolar uh, disorder and that is a, a whole nother can of worms that I won't get into uh, right now it is a form of depression that uh, someone in my immediate family does have bipolar disorder, and uh, like I said, that's that's something totally different or whole other can of worms. I don't want to get into right now, um, but you know, people struggle with depression in all sorts of ways for all sorts of reasons, and I just don't want anybody to think that suicide's ever the answer. You have family and friends that love you. Um, if, if you want to reach out to us, I'm more than happy uh, to talk you through uh, any kind of problems you're having. You can contact me on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. Um, but just don't, you know, suicide's not the answer. Because once you choose that, there is no second choice. You, you don't get a second chance. It is the end all be all. So don't ever pick that. You know, call one of the hotlines in the description or contact somebody in your, your life that you know, or contact one of us, we'll, we'll be there for you. Um, but, you know, this this Logan Paul video, it, it, I, I don't even know how to express. I mean, like, he even says he doesn't want to be forgiven for it. So that should tell you something right there. He said that in his apology. Yeah, it's like so, he, he knows he messed up by doing this yeah. video. Uh, and I just... I don't think he understands how much he messed up or how. It's, just, it's hard to be like 
do you really have empathy if you uploaded that in the first place? I no, mean, I, I don't. I mean, really I know we all make mistakes and stuff, but yeah. but I mean, that's uh, I don't know. I don't. Th that's for somebody else to decide, not me. But I We're just, just telling you our opinion on it. Yeah, I just don't think that he should get just like a little slap on the wrist for this. YouTube really needs to punish him for this. This and because YouTube's really the only one that I think can, can do it can yeah. punish him. But I mean, I think probably everyone watching this or just about everybody um, knows of someone who has committed suicide, whether it's someone really close to you or you just know somebody who knows somebody that did. Um, I know that uh, I was I was on the phone with my mom uh, earlier today talking about this, and she reminded me of uh, my neighbor when I was a kid. Um, I, I was probably, uh, I would have to say seven or eight years old, um, when my neighbor committed suicide. Um, and I had honestly forgotten about that until my mom reminded me. And I, I do remember him now that she refreshed my memory. I remember, uh, when I was a kid, um, he would go to Walmart and play those little like grabber machines and he would win little stuffed animals and bring them back and give them to me all the time. Um, and I used to have a lot of those uh, that he gave me. Um, but it was just one day he got into a fight with his girlfriend on the phone. And he uh, he shot his gun into the ceiling first. Talking to her on the phone, he shot into the ceiling. And then he said, the next one's for me. And it was. And like I said, he, he did that obviously in the heat of the moment. And you can never take it back. That, that's the problem. You can never, you know, change your mind. It's over. That That's all there is to it. And I just don't... You just don't want, like, a group like Logan Paul's crew dancing around a dead body after that. Being like, bro, hey, how's it going? You know, oh, half a million views, you know? Like, huh, <laughs> what's wrong? You've never stood next to a dead body before? It's <laughs> like... And no one, we sh God willing, nobody should have to. No. <laughs> I mean, like, what? <laughs> I mean, like, that is sick, dude. That is sick. It, it really is. It is incredibly sick. And I mean, I have I have many more stories that I could tell you about people that I've known of, uh, not directly related to me, but people you know, not too distant from me that have committed suicide. I've known other people that have contemplated it and chosen not to. And it's not something that you want to de have to deal with. Um, no, dude, that's just, it's just basically bottom line. Don't disrespect people that way. It, it's the fame got to your head, apparently. Um, you know, nothing's off limits. You go to other countries, like disrespect dead people. You do anything because you're Logan Paul. So, bottom line, you know, and I mean, like, I just, I don't know what to say about that. I just, just whenever, when I, see, when I first heard about this story, I saw it on Twitter first, and I read the headline, and I was like, no, they have to be exaggerating. Like, nobody would do that. Yeah. And then I saw the video, and I was like, we both oh. have been waiting to do this video like all day because it's like we've been listening to people, we've been listening to different sides yeah. of people's stories. But bottom line is, for the most part, most people agree it was messed up. And yeah. I mean, like, well, I mean, like, if you apologize for it, even you, even Logan Paul <laughs> knows it's messed up. So, I mean, yeah. it was messed up. When I when I first saw the video. Um, I saw it this morning right before I left to go to work. So I didn't have time to do the video this morning. Um, I wanted to. I just didn't have time. Uh, but when I first saw the video, it just, it like, it literally made my, uh, my blood boil. I was so angry. Could not believe somebody would do that. I mean, just, you have absolutely zero respect for or human empathy. life. Or empathy. Yeah. Like, come on, man. A video, YouTube video is not worth. Like, like, take for instance your your Gucci jacket. You were praising it and yeah, being he, all like, "Hey, I'm gonna put my Gucci on," you know. And it's like, I mean, like, th there's a human life there, and I mean, like, 
I you mean, know, just to just to throw this out there too, do you do you honestly think that that guy could or would ever have consented to being filmed like that? Yeah. Why do you think that? Well, that you can't he, ask him, so you know. Yeah. Why do you think that that guy went out in the forest to do that? Yeah. Obviously, he he wasn't really wanting to be found, and he wouldn't want to be viewed by millions of people like that. I just, I cannot even express how upset it makes me. I mean, like, some people just don't get it, and some people are like, well, you apologize, and it's like, it's not the point. It's like, that's something you can't really take back. Yeah, the I thing mean, is, he should have known better in While the first he was place. doing it, like... He literally edited that video. I mean, and his whole team knew what was going out that day. Yeah, and so you can't tell me it's not for clicks and or I, to gain if, subs or any of that. And if I'm not mistaken, it, and I may have my my uh, dates out of order here, but if I'm not mistaken, I think the next video he did after that was him playing Pokemon Go. And I don't know, it may have been in the forest there, it may have been somewhere else, I'm not sure. But to go from, oh, ho, 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 I found a dead body, I'm playing Pokemon Go now. What is wrong with you? Just, just what is wrong with you? You have got to have something messed up. Maybe he needs, like, some therapy, um, some, I don't know. I no, just, like, at uh, least human empathy. You need human empathy. You need to stop looking at those YouTube dollars, those YouTube subs, and connect. <laughs> yeah. Like, bottom line. But, like, you know, we've been going at this for a while. Like, you know, like, talking about Logan Paul. Yeah, and, and we we understand. You've probably already seen tons of videos about plus this. Plus the video. Yeah, plus so. the original video. But we just wanted to sit down and um, make a video about our thoughts on it. Uh, sort of to... Just vent it out. Yeah, basically to vent because I just, I just cannot understand how anybody would ever think that that's okay. Just for clicks, like just for clicks or subscribers, like it's not worth it. Yeah, it's not it, worth it. It is unbelievable. But anyway, um, I look forward to seeing what YouTube's gonna do about this. Um. I have a feeling that if YouTube does nothing about this, we're going to see the next adpocalypse start. Um, but anyway, that's that's a topic. Totally for, different story. Yeah, that's a topic for another video. Um, anyway, uh, you know, tell us in the comments what you guys are thinking about this, and if you disagree with us and and you do want to defend him, feel free to do that. We want to hear your side. Um, so just tell us in the comments what you're thinking about all of this. Um, and again, if anyone is uh, battling depression, you're contemplating suicide, even thinking about it in the slightest bit, call one of the hotlines in the description. Um, find your country listed there and call one of the hotlines. Please get help. Um, don't, don't stay depressed. There is so many different ways to get help. You can get therapy. There's, you know, very simple medications that you can get on that will help you. Uh, just, just get help. And, you know, I wish everyone the very, very best. And I hope everyone really, truly does have a happy new year. I know we're starting it off with a, a, a really terrible topic to have to talk about. Thanks, Logan. Yeah, thanks a lot. Um, but anyway, tell us your thoughts in the comments, and um, we will be back soon for more videos. Just, uh, you know, have a great day, and, and if you're having any kind of depression, I hope you find some way to cheer up or get help, and uh, we will see you guys later.